Hi there, my name's Chris, sales manager for Sound & Vision in Bolton. We're looking at a new product today from Sony, two models in the range, the KDL40 NX703 and the KDL46 NX703. So two screen sizes, 40 and 46 inch. The model we're showing here is the 40 inch version, but it's the same specification on both models, apart from one aspect, which is the power consumption. On the 40 inch model, you're looking at 81 watts, and on the 46 inch model, you're looking at 96 watts. Apart from that, they are absolutely identical in spec. Now, to run through uh, the specification first of all with you, uh, they are both full HD, so they're caught with 720p, 1080i and 1080p resolution. They're also the latest generation of Freeview HD sets as well, so you can get BBC HD, ITV HD and Channel 4 HD just through your TV aerial. You just plug your aerial into the back of the TV and you've got a free HD service. They're also 100 hertz scanning. Standard TV scan at 50 hertz, meaning there's 50 pictures per second making up your image. On this range, there's 100 pictures per second making up that image for you. So you get great control of any fast movement on screen as well. They're also LED edge lit. So they are slim panels because they are LED as well. You get a very good black level on the TV. So it's got a very high contrast ratio. So you're going to get great depth of field, good detail on dark scenes and a really good natural colour palette on there as well. Before we go through and have a look at the sockets on the rear of the TV, what I want to do is take you through some of the features uh, in the menu on this set. Um, it's part of the network range from Sony, so you've got uh, basically wireless internet capabilities. You can hardwire it as well, but the wireless technology is actually built into the TV as well. On the Sony remote control, you have a button that says Home. It's the blue button just there. If you press the home button, it puts us into the menu on screen. It's saying here at the moment we're actually on BBC HD channel. If we click over to the left, we've just got up, down, right and left on the keypad. Click over to the left. The first one we hit is the internet section. So on this set at the moment, we've got highlighted YouTube. If we scan down from there, just pressing the button down, we've got various other options and there's quite a lot of them. I said you can access this wirelessly or you can hardwire it through your internet system at home. Um, but you've got loads of different options uh, on here. If we go back to, say, YouTube on there, and we'll press the OK button. So uh, here we go, YouTube is there. We press the button in the center of the remote control and it will now search for uh, the YouTube site. It's just loading that now. And the options on here, we can, we can go into sort of uh, most popular, uh, most discussed, different options on there, you've got most viewed, and you're just jogging down to the section that you want on there. Most viewed, press OK, and it will load up now the most viewed uh, video clips that are on there. And then you can just search down then for whatever you want to watch on YouTube. However, if we go back a stage, just press Return, which is the button at the side of the Home menu, and you can also do a manual search. So we can actually go through the alphabet on there. And we're just pressing the OK button on the remote. And then you can jog down and you can search for anything you want. You just tap in what you want on there. Once you've got the title in there, you just would select Enter, press OK, and it would search for that for you as well. So you've got a search option on, uh, on the YouTube, YouTube site. If you come out of there, we'll just have a look at some of the other options on the set itself. As I said there's loads of different options in here. We've got Eurosport we can click into, FIFA World Cup collection, you've got Sony Entertainment Television, yet again if we click into that one, you'll find in this section there's various um, TV series, um, some of the old uh, TV programs are on here. It will just start to load them now. And you've got various episodes on here of various different TV shows. And we're looking at page one of 17. And yet again, you would just jog along to any of those. Once you're onto the program that you want on there, you would just press OK and it would uh, jump into that uh, program for you. So great internet connectivity on this set. Uh, lots to look at, uh, far too much to go in, uh, into in this video clip. You've got things like Love Film, uh, you've got uh, Demand 5. There's loads of different options that you can uh, jump into on their podcasts. Absolutely loads to look at. So, as I said, you've got full internet connectivity through this range. 
If we go on from there, um, we've got uh, Bravia Music, um, we've got Photos, yet again, on this particular set, um, you've got USB sockets uh, on the TV, which we'll look at in just a moment, um, or you can send photographs from your PC, and yet again, you can jump into those, and you can have the photographs displayed on screen. This particular screen runs, it's a flat panel, it runs right up to the edge of the screen, there's no sort of uh, frame standing off the set, it's uh, completely right up to the edge of the set itself. And as I said, you can display uh, your pictures uh, on screen as well. If we just come out of that for a moment, on that particular picture there as well, it does in actually indicate where you took the photograph as well. Um, so, uh, nice little feature on there. If we come out of the photos, and move along, um, we get into the settings menu, and all we're doing is jogging along down, and if we go into display, we then get into the picture settings, where then you can manually adjust um, everything for the uh, backlight, contrast, brightness, and you just highlight the one you want to adjust on there, you jog it up and down, press OK in the center, and then just make the adjustments using the left or right button on there, and you can adjust that accordingly. If we just go back to the TV for a moment there, so we've got a picture on there for you. And we'll show that a little bit more clearly for you. So, we go back to the menu, jog along to the left, until you get to display, press OK in the centre, press OK again, and you're into the picture settings. And then you just highlight the one you want to adjust, press OK, and just move along to the left or right to adjust that colour to how you want that to be displayed. And just set that to your own liking on there. As I said, this particular set uh, does have a uh, Freeview HD tuner built into it, so uh, at the moment we're on BBC HD, you've got ITV HD and Channel 4 HD built into the TV uh, without uh, having the need of any external box to receive that, so you don't need any satellite or uh, cable network to do that. You've got a free HD service built into the set itself. What we'll do now, we'll just have a look at the sockets on the rear of the TV. Okay, so here we have the, uh, the rear of the panel. Um, this particular set uh, lends itself to being wall mounted. Every socket on this TV is recessed. The main socket is recessed just to the side here. It's a figure of eight mains lead, uh, which plugs just into the side here, recessed, ideal for wall mounting. All the other sockets, which we'll go through in a moment, are all recessed down the side here or down the side panel um, just at the other end of the TV there. If you are wall mounting this TV, your wall fittings are here and down there as well. The wall fitting for the 40 and the 46 inch is exactly the same. They are 300 mil by 300 mil. So um, standard bracket, um, 300 by 300 visa bracket. The sockets, as we said, you've got the mains down here. At the top here, we've got uh, your Ethernet, your LAN connection, so you can uh, hardwire it through that. As I said, it has got wireless technology built into the TV. Just underneath there, you've got a HDMI socket, and you've got another HDMI socket here. So you've got two HDMIs recessed on the back of the set. You've then got one single SCART socket there, and you've got an optical socket. So if you want to feed the sound digitally, 5.1 surround sound, out of this TV, you can do so via the optical through an external amplifier. And you've also got now your aerial socket recessed on the back of the set. So you've got your coaxial socket there. As we stated before, it's got Freeview HD built into the TV. It's got a free HD service. That's your aerial socket also recessed. We'll just spin the set round now. We'll have a look at the sockets on the side of the TV. OK, so the sockets on the side of the TV. At the top here, we've got a uh, USB connection. So if you've got a memory stick, um, you can feed that into there. Anything stored, photographs, music, whatever it may be, uh, you can have straight onto the TV set itself. Underneath that, you've got the PC in socket, you've got a VGA connection there. Uh, the socket just above that is the audio feed for that socket as well. You've then got a further two HDMI sockets, um, so you've got four HDMIs in total. Uh, you've got two on the side and uh, two on the back of the TV. Yet again, all these sockets are recessed. You've then got a um, CI slot, a cam slot, so if you want to subscribe to any pay-per-view TV, uh, you get yourself a cam card slotted in there, you can do so. Underneath there, you've then got the headphone socket, and just underneath that, you've got a component, uh, which is the red, green, blue connection. A lot of games consoles use, use that, and the audio connection input for it just underneath. 
Okay, so there you have it, a TV um, which is really high spec. If you're looking for uh, a set which is going to give you internet connectivity wirelessly, it's got that. It's full HD, so it'll call it 720p, 1080i and 1080p resolution. They're 100 at scanning, so they're going to cope with movement extremely well. They've got a high contrast level with them being sort of LED edge lit as well. So, extremely high specification. I would say if you'd like more details on this, please give me a call. My name is Chris. Uh, you can get hold of me at Sound and Vision on 01204 861 861. Or please visit the store in Bolton or in Leeds. Um, if you would like more details on this, if you are viewing this from YouTube, if you click the link, it'll go through to our website. If you do go to our website, which is soundinvision.co.uk, there's a lot more video clips on there on TVs from uh, Sony, Panasonic, JVC, um, various different makes and models. So uh, if you're looking for sort of uh, other video reviews, please go to our website. There's a lot more information on there. Thank you.